Okay. Now this red year slider we use gas. It's called isofluorine. Five percent. Put to five. Ah, uh, five percent ready. To knock, knock, knock down the anesthetic. To knock down the the red year slider so they can extend his neck and then lunge the ear abscess. As you can see, it's very difficult to get it out. So the flow, how many? What number is that? The flow, it's five, four. Right? four per minute. Okay, four liters per minute, and it's still five. And then we just probably about less than five minutes. We notice is it still moving? Yeah. Still moving. So this is a more humane way. The other way is extend the neck and and lunge the abscess. If, if it's a big one, it's quite easy, but a uh, small one is hard, uh, harder because the neck is slimmer. Is it still moving? Yes. Now, there, 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 are, there, there are claims by some vets that they, they don't take to, to anesthetic gas because they withhold the breath. Now, from what I see, this is not true for the simple reason is in, in turtles, where they do big surgeries like removal of the eggs, they, they are using isoprene gas. Then, then how, how you will say that they are holding the breath? Then how are they going to do operations which are quite long? They will not be able to do any operation on the on the turtles or, or red ear sliders. Now we move it a bit. Is it moving? If not, then open up here we will take it out and then we quickly lance it and and uh, that that is of course you got a hole uh, you got a hole and then then we open up and just leave it here so this is the anesthetic part now anesthetic part